25 minutes before 11 o'clock. This morning we had a conversation, coincidentally, with a gentleman who told us that May 29th was Save for Education Day. I think 529 is a plan that the IRS offers so you can save money uh, for your education or your child's education. Or And right now we're going to find out how you can use that money. Uh, Mike Fallon is here from the uh, Webster University. He's the Community Relations Coordinator over there. And uh, we're going to talk about um, careers that you can... Uh, you're investing money. You're not spending money at college. You're investing it in your future, right? It's a good investment. Good morning, good Mike. Investment for, good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for having us How today. is everybody doing? Very good. Okay. Very happy. Good. Good to see you. Good to hear you. And and did, do, are, are you in the careers that you went to school for? All of you? No. No! no. Oh, I am. No. Yeah, are you really? No. See, I'm not either. I'm not either. I didn't, I didn't study this. Oh. That's why I am so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's interesting how uh, a lot of a lot of people do go into a, a career that's different than they studied for. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> well, today we're going to speak about that, of course. But we're also going to talk a little bit about careers, uh, degree programs that lead into careers, and we have a lot of options locally that really do lead into career success. We're going to talk about a career fair, which we'll let Elvi start off in a moment. Ah, about okay. a career fair tomorrow. Okay. And. Um, yeah, we're just have a nice chat about that today. Okay, and uh, so Elvi, am I saying yes, your name right? Elvi. Elvi. Elvi Tyler with College of Central Florida. Elvi Tyler. Okay, well, good, good to meet you. If I've Thank met you. you before, I apologize. Yeah. But nice to see you. So uh, tell, tell us what we're gonna what we're gonna learn tomorrow. Well, good morning, Larry. Thank you for having us here this morning. The College of Central Florida is um, in partnership with Career Source, Citrus, Livy, and Marion, and we will host the Higher Grad uh, Job Fair on um, Wednesday, May 18th at the Weber Hall. So we've invited all our graduates um, and they will have an opportunity to meet employers from a variety of industries that are actively seeking um, employees, um, both from the college graduate as well as the vocational programs. Um, industries will be there, such as manufacturing, logistics, healthcare. Um, we will also have social services and um, banks and higher education, such as the University of Central Florida and Webster University mm -hmm. will also be there to um, to greet our um, graduates and our alumni from um, College of Central Florida. So it's a very exciting day for us, and we're hoping that the alumni and the graduates are listening to the radio station today, and um, hopefully that they will come and visit us from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, that's the most exciting part about going to school, isn't it? Is is actually plugging it into something that you've really been wanting to do as a career. Absolutely. Is is there is there a bridge that fixes that catch twenty two problem where the employer says, "Well, you got the education, but you have no experience, and you don't get experience unless you've had a job." Is there a is there a bridge program <laughs> oh, that helps with oh, that? Oh yes, there is. Okay, <laughs> um, and we have multiple uh, universities that are going to talk about colleges and universities that are going to talk about internships. And that's the best ah, way. Okay, and okay. Um, all of our schools have some kind of internship component that is program specific. So we'll let let's let um, maybe Greg start off uh, with St. Leo University. Uh, by the way, I'm Mike Fallon with Webster University, <laughs> um, and talk about some options you have, and then we'll go to Crystal, and then we'll round back off to uh, LV for a moment. Sure. Um, yeah, there are uh, some programs that simply do not require internships because it's just not relative to that program. So, right. for instance, like criminal right. justice, you know, you can do a lot of things with that degree, but you don't intern as a cop. You need to go to the academy and be instructed that way. That would make sense, yeah. Now, yeah. with some uh, programs, like our, we have a middle grades education and an elementary education program at St. Leo here in Ocala, um, as well as our human services programs, um, those do require internships. And they're a great way, I mean, obviously, you're learning on the job while, you know, you're still in school. But it's also a great way to get your foot in the door with a potential employer. So while you are still getting an education, so to speak, on the job, you're also starting to see, you know, where are you going to be a good fit, where you're at, you know, developing professional relationships with uh, the different places you might be doing an, an internship or internships with. So um, 
those are great ways of, you know, you, you get to bypass a lot of things, like maybe going from hiring process to hiring process, interview to interview. Um, but uh, also there are, there are great preparation for where you ultimately aim to be. And are internships documented in some way? Like, do I get a piece of paper that says, hey, I interned, or do I just, do they just take my word for it? Oh, no, that is, it is documented. So there is a record of, of this to where you've been. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and, the, and you said paid. It's a paid internship. Um, that I think oh, that, not always? that can vary. Not always. Um, as far as with ours, uh, I don't believe they are mm-hmm. um, because you are still a, a student during that time. It's part of the program. Um, but, uh, you know, Crystal uh, with UCF, she can uh, offer some more information on, on uh, their internships as well. So for internship, for instance, that's part of our elementary education program, which would uh, be K through six, uh, so designed for teachers, folks mm-hmm. who want to teach, that program has built-in internships um, in the senior year of studies. And what the first one does is it introduces the student to the varying grades, so they'll spend time in K through six classrooms all over the school district, and then their final internship as a senior, their last semester, they're in one location. And what that does is it proves to the faculty that they've acquired all of the skills they needed through the years they've been with us um, and acquired all of those academic skills to teach. They've also passed their state licensing uh, required exams and they're now doing their internship which puts them in the role of teaching in the classroom. Um, What that does, what we see is it's a great way to stack the program because at the end they're ready to graduate. They've had exposure in that school district with faculty and staff and then they're potentially making a connection for a job offer. We've been very lucky and I think that's the case for most education programs locally uh, because there's a teacher shortage that our students are going right into positions. They're doing the hiring process over the fall, I'm sorry, over the summer, Mm -hmm. and then they're starting their jobs in the fall with the beginning of the school year. That's exciting. So it's not every degree works like that, unfortunately. It would be wonderful if they did, but that kind of opportunity really um, makes sure that the student who's looking to go right into a career is is going to be... um, uh, will have that option when they work through a program like education, for instance. And some of our others have programs uh, where we have an introductory course and exit course, and the introductory course is called Career Paths, and it's designed to have that student do the research on what can I do with this degree? What's the career? Mm-hmm. What's the next step in higher ed after this? So there's planning and forethought and not just earning the degree and then now what? Because that doesn't serve the economy, the university, or the student if we're just churning out graduates who can't get jobs. Right. Is is the uh, student who's at the college level already at the point where they sort of know what they want because of the guidance counselors they had maybe in high school? Uh, not always, I huh? Think well, no. We're, no, we're, we're working not. with millennials, um, right? Yeah. So I don't know if they're really going to know what they want for a long time, right? And we no, work with usually. with students that are all different ages and mm-hmm. coming from different backgrounds. They might be transitioning in what we consider the normal timeline, coming right through high school to the state college, then to universities, right? Or they may be coming back for a second career or returning to school after leaving for whatever reason. Um, so I think our pop- our student populations are rather diverse, and I find that across the board. It's, it's kind of common for someone to be not quite sure. So do they ever change so, tracks in the middle? And is that a bad idea? It depends on when. There's a time. There's a point in time where it can be challenged. Mm-hmm. There can be financial aid impact and, and some other things. But on the whole, with appropriate guidance at every step, which we all as institutions try to provide that, we really encourage students to, to utilize um, different types of career resources to kind of identify this is what looks good or, or what appeals to me. With younger students coming up, because of the way meta majors are working and all different things in the public schools, I think that might alleviate a little bit. We're kind of addressing it a little earlier on, kind of tracking students towards their fields where they are showing they have um, a more exceptional aptitude. I think that'll help. So we have, um, you, you've established this many times by coming in here, we have wonderful educational opportunities here in, Ma- in Marion County. And, and CareerSource has educated us that there's a lot of opportunities to, to stay here once you have that education. So I, I think it's a really different landscape for, for college students and, and career seekers mm-hmm. than maybe it was, you know, 15 years ago or so. 
Yeah, and it's been, um, I think, what I've found out also is there's accessibility to education now, and that, that had made it really um, available for those students that were in high school and probably were not thinking about going to college. Mm -hmm. So College of Central Florida have also uh, provided those services and actually go into the high schools and as well as middle schools to just encourage students to think about um, college after high school and and also with that with the different programs that we have at college of central florida we really assist our students in finding internship while they're there as well as encouraging them before graduation to go to career source mm -hmm. and um, start um, addressing their resume, getting their resumes critiqued, mm -hmm. and then they're really ready to go and um, present themselves to the recruiters at these job fairs that may be available after graduation. Well, so, one of them is tomorrow. And one of them is tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Um, we'll be right back. Higher Education Happenings is what you're listening to. Uh, LV, Crystal, Greg, and Mike, hang in there. We'll be right back. If you have, Do you want to take phone calls or hold off the phone calls? <laughs> yes. Let's no. hold off on them. No, Let's hold, hold off. off on All right, we will be right back. Thanks. <laughs> the weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Rather cloudy Tuesday with a shower with thunderstorm around in the morning. And some heavy thunderstorms in the afternoon that can produce flooding downpours across the area. The high 81 to 85. Remaining mostly cloudy through the night with a shower with thunderstorm low 68 to 72. For Wednesday, mostly cloudy skies with a couple of showers and heavy thunderstorms around, especially in the afternoon, the high 81 to 85. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Claim your future with a highly respected degree from St. Leo University. Ranked among the best colleges by U.S. News & World Report, St. Leo University is a proven leader in bachelor's and master's degrees designed for working adults. Classes are forming now at our convenient Ocala Education Center located at the College of Central Florida, and there is still time to enroll. For more information, contact an academic advisor today by calling 352-671-3391 or visit stleo.edu slash Ocala. St. Leo University, what you need for where you're going. FlySanford.com, Orlando Sanford International Airport. We are SFB. Simpler, faster, better. Simpler. With an easy to navigate compact airport design. You won't need your running shoes. Faster. With quick processing times from parking to plane in minutes. Better. With more nonstop flights to your favorite places. And new destinations are being added all the time. For enjoyable travel, come to Orlando Sanford International Airport. We are SFB. Simpler, faster, better. Before you fly, FlySanford.com. The College of Central Florida is committed to being your first choice for quality higher education. CF has locations in Marion, Citrus, and Levy counties and offers more than 60 academic programs. Earn a certificate, associate, or bachelor's degree with Florida's 2 plus 2 program. A student can complete an associate in arts at CF and be guaranteed admission to a state of Florida university. CF is ranked number 13 in the U.S. for affordability, is military friendly, and offers a full student life experience. Make CF your first choice. Call 352-873-5800. With a graduate degree in management and leadership from Webster University, there will never be a better time for you to explore what's next in your career. Classes are scheduled so you can continue your normal workday routine. And the accelerated program means a new term starts about every 10 weeks. If you're looking to gain a broad general management and leadership perspective, then Webster University's management and leadership degree program is the right one for you. It's all a part of what's next at Webster University. Go to webster.edu slash manage. Accredited by ACBSP. Do you live in Leesburg, Ocala, or Claremont? Are you interested in teaching, nursing, or business? If so, the University of Central Florida offers you more than a dozen programs that fit your schedule and your budget. You can take classes online or in a classroom or both. You can get ahead in your career and you can do it right in your own neighborhood. UCF has 10 locations near you. Find out more at regionalcampuses.ucf.edu. All right, 11 minutes before 11 o'clock, and uh, we are talking about opportunities right here in Ocala where you can get a higher education and apply that to a career, and that's the focus of today's visit. That is, that's a focus, and uh, we've worked with undergraduate studies, and I want to just touch briefly on uh, graduate studies because Webster University offers uh, local access to master's degrees. 
Um, two of our programs also offer an internship component. Uh, the Master of Arts in Counseling has a thousand hour internship component, which gives the student a lot of time to see different perspectives of populations. So if they're going into counseling, they want to work with addictions or with aging populations or children, they have time to test all those areas and kind of see what they're like. Oh, wow. Um, and that's what's nice about all the internship programs that are available locally. Um, ours can be paid, part of them can be paid, but some of them have to be unpaid. But I think uh, leading up till tomorrow, um, I know Greg wanted to touch on something else, and Crystal also, about careers and career readiness. Yeah, uh, before we went to the break, LV was mentioning resumes and having those looked over. And I can't stress enough to you know students, graduates, soon to be coming out of college, how important those things are. I, I think it's just my experience. I've come in contact with a lot of individuals who, you know, they think, hey, once they get their degree, that's it. Then I get a job right away. After. Yeah, right, right. And it, it doesn't necessarily work like that. You have to continue, you know, working toward that job. Um, first build your resume um, and then you know look around talk to people go to your wh where you graduated from and see if they have resources like LV mentioned you know uh, CF has resources like that to have your resume looked over mm -hmm. and, and make sure everything is in order it, it's got a proper format to it um, it's not too short it's not too long uh, you know if you're going for a, a profession uh, they probably don't need to know that you worked at a convenience store when you were in high school um, right right right. but you know you don't want to be too brief either where you're leaving out valuable job experience that you had in the past and you know once you have your resume and you're in that interview it is so important to be professional in that interview and I want to say you know it should be common sense how you dress but as the old sure, adage goes sure, common yeah. sense isn't so common right, right, um, right. don't go into a job interview in jeans um, I think if you see how anybody you know for those of, that are watching on the internet right now anybody that can see how we're dressed in here is pretty much how you should uh, you know man or woman how you sure, should go into sure, an interview yeah. mm -hmm. and to say that don't go to a career fair dressed in jeans tomorrow Please at don't. the College of Central Florida from 10 to 2 dress up for that because I don't know about the other institutions but I know we are looking for some um, some positions and you know people we meet at these fairs you know that's the first first 30 wow. seconds yeah. really makes a big good, difference good you want to make an impression you want to make an impression you want good to be advice. an ideal candidate whether it's to a university or to your future employer you want to make that first impression because we'll remember you as we continue to work with you either in the job environment or as a student we're going to remember and it's a huge statement what that says it's it's the presence that you're projecting what it says about your you know what you're saying about yourself your personal statement and um, if it's if it's a little questionable we're gonna see that yeah right, right. away mm -hmm. smile and you know, sit up straight, stand up straight. <laughs> yeah. No cigars. Yeah, right. maybe not. Drink a little <laughs> caffeine, maybe, then <laughs> get you going. Yeah, first, first impression is always very important. Mm -hmm. And um, if there was a tip that I would give our graduates out there that are coming to this um, uh, job fair tomorrow is prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Practice that firm handshake. You know, there's a lot to say about a handshake, you mm -hmm. know, of, of a person, you know, a firm handshake. And also thank the recruiter for being there. They Absolutely. took the time Absolutely. to come from 10 to 2 so that they'll be available for you on the, stop, uh, on the spot. Mm -hmm. And look at the careers that you're looking into and prepare yourself for that. Go ahead and go on the website and um, search, research um, companies that are within um, Ocala and that right. may be at the um, uh, job fair tomorrow. You know, I would mention them, but I don't want to leave anybody out. So <laughs> if they would like to find out who the companies are that are attending tomorrow's job fair, they can call me at 352 854 2322, extension 1366. Okay. So and just um, ask for you? And ask for LV Tyler. LV, okay. And, and research the companies that you're interested in too, especially when you sit down for an interview, mm -hmm, because yeah. that may be a question that comes up. Um, you know, if you don't know anything about the company that you're at, like maybe when it was founded, mm -hmm. um, you know, what the demographic is they cater to, what they they make or provide to the to the public or whatever, you right. need to know those things it's going in. It's good to know that, yeah. Because it just, it, it says how bad do you want this job. Right, right. Absolutely. That's yeah. a really good point. Um, yeah. Two things I'd like to, to 
um, mention is our Direct Connect partnership with CF uh, with regards to preparing for whatever that next career is going to be. We now have a guaranteed admissions pathway with CF. If you earn your associate's degree uh, from fall 2015 forward, you then qualify for guaranteed admission at UCF. Uh, so there's that incentive, stay local, earn that higher ed. Um, but we just are in the process of hiring a new Direct Connect advisor for one of our other campuses. And I had the opportunity to sit in on the um, interviews. And one of the requirements is that candidate had to give a presentation on the university and the program they're going to be representing. Mm -hmm. And they had to go online, learn as much as they could, and they had to present a PowerPoint, speak in front of a large group of people to show their interest and what they've learned um, as oh, a foundation. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. It's becoming very common. So, um, it you know, preparation is key, whether you're looking yeah. for that next job or where you're going to go to school, what you're going to do next, you know, professionally. Preparation, absolutely. Yeah. A lot of job listings have a specific software that they are looking for somebody who knows how to operate it. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, going back to when Greg was saying about the resume, if you don't have that, but your resume shows that you've got a really good ability to learn software. Mm -hmm. You, I would hope that the, the the employer would say, "Gosh, you got all the credentials, but you've never used, you know, Adobe, whatever. I don't even know what they are." But, <laughs> but okay. So now, so now, I mean, am I right about that? That you don't have to go back to school to learn the software. You can say. I'm, I'm a quick learn and, and it would depend on the industry I think yeah, if we're talking yeah. about something like CAD that's going to be very specific to the industry's design software mm. that it applies to so some places may offer on the job training to the right candidate um, but other places may really want that expertise and experience coming in. Would you know that in advance? And like if you went to the job fair, would somebody be able to tell you that? They should be able, to. They should be able to. They 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 should be able to. I mean, um, and also there's a lot of um, businesses that, although you may not have the skills necessary, while you're interviewing with them, talk about the things that really you're good at and then that could always they can see they can judge by whether they can train you mm -hmm. teach you or may even um, want to send you to get that extra certificate programs that needed is needed for that certain position so open another door to a different exactly position. and certain exactly. things you know don't don't require formal education either you know my degrees were always in marketing and now you look at marketing jobs that you know five years ago eight years ago ten years ago they didn't require extensive social media experience mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. they do now right right and they prefer a little bit of Adobe Photoshop because you know you're not gonna you might mm -hmm. design a flyer or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. where you know um, when I was first in college we didn't really go that in depth on those topics so those types of things you can continue to learn on your own I know the College of Central Florida has some great non-degree courses and programs like that mm -hmm. yes and especially in our Excel at program absolutely yes. right you know you can you can really strengthen those other areas to build mm -hmm. on your program or your mm -hmm. degree because mm -hmm. if you you've got certain types of degrees that are you know you graduated five years ten years ago and you don't have experience in these other areas you learning is a non-stop process mm -hmm. you're gonna learn continue to develop and learn your whole life that's that's a key there uh, can we go down the list and uh, give the, the, the contact information? I guess we'll start with you, Mike. Sure. Mike at Webster University, and our website is webster.edu slash Ocala. Okay. And this is Greg at St. Leo University. Uh, you can go to stleo.edu. Saint is spelled out. Okay, that's good to know that. Uh, Crystal? Uh, Crystal Flynn from University of Central Florida, Ocala Regional Campus, and you can find us online at ucfocala.com or ucf.edu. And um, L.V. Tyler with the College of Central Florida, and you can find it as at www.cf.edu. And repeat again the event tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Hire a Grad Job Fair from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Webster Center at the Ocala Campus. Right across the street from the mall here. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. You got it. So go over there. And, and uh, yeah, it's exciting. It's an exciting time. School is letting out about now for a lot of uh, schools. Soon, soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've had graduations. We have graduations coming up mm -hmm. and uh, you know many students go to year go to year go to school year round so our summer <laughs> classes just yeah, started we're, yesterday <laughs> we're starting next week and we're ramped up for it right. for sure. is that right yeah so, so it's the, never ending the, and the careers we, I mean I did mention that we have a lot of opportunities here mm -hmm. but that you if you prefer you say oh, look I'm going to study here but I'm looking forward to moving to wherever mm -hmm. and there, I'm sure any place in the country would recognize the degrees that you, they earn here right Absolutely. sure yeah. yes sure mm -hmm. 
Um, well, it always always fun, always interesting. Um, LV, thank you. Crystal, thank you good too, to Larry. see you again. Uh, Greg, you good to see you again. Likewise. And Mike, of course, good to see you. Nice to see you too. Call thank us you. here at WOCA if you need the phone numbers repeated or the websites repeated. We'd be glad to do that. And share the video. We did it nice today. We got that Mike isn't like the first person and really <laughs> close to the camera. <laughs> thank you. Uh, but, but share the video seriously because it'll help somebody else who might be benefiting from the information. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Yeah.